Hey everyone, it's Mindy from Tony's Picks. Welcome to my little show, Data Driven Picks, where I give you my statistical best based off of my Major League Baseball modeling and how those compare to Vegas opening lines. Uh, but before the, we do that, make sure you get over to our multi capper site. You can find this right here at Tony's Picks. You can see I've been pretty hot over the last seven days, so make sure you go ahead and check those out over there. You can find a little bit of everything. So I have guaranteed best bets, five packs, three packs, seven packs of Major League Baseball. So make sure you get over there now. Check it out. Go. All right, let's get started here today. We're going to go ahead and start with play number one. That's right. It's going to be the Phillies versus my Royals, right? So we got Wheeler on the mound. He's uh, looking like he's uh, sitting around 3.48 over the short term. So right now, over his last five, 2.73 this season. So been dealing. And that's he's going up against Lugo. Lugo got off to that heart's hot start. It's been kind of leveling out since then. Right now, he's 5.875 to the short term. Last five games, 3.02 this season. Royals bullpen has been... How do you say it nicely? Bad? 4.515 worse than this Phillies team. Royals allow an average of five offensive runs from their opponents in their first five inning. You guys, we're going to go ahead and go against my Royals, against my better judgment. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take the Phillies here on the money line. They're sitting at minus 105. I think they get it done here. Win the grudge match today. Game number two is going to be between the Cubs and the Marlins. That's right. We have Assad on the mound, 2.96 over the short term, last five games, 3.11 this season versus Aller. He's sitting up there. He's elevated, 9.64. That's come down a little bit. He started off around 11.24. So, hey, he's getting better, right? Uh, the Cubs, though, look at what they're doing right now. They're hitting 9.9% higher better than the Marlins, right? So I have a thing, I call it like the offensive impact. So they're above league average by about 9% in all of things that you can think of offensively, right? So anything like hits, runs, slugging, all of that stuff. Right now the Cubs are hitting 9.9% higher. So when we get hot teams like that versus subpar, uh, you know, pitchers, you know, we get the check marks, right? It starts checking the boxes. Um, I actually have this one about a seven to three ball game. I have the Cubs all over this Marlins team. The Marlins bullpen, they give up about 4.55. They kind of sound like the Royals. We're going to go ahead and take the Cubs. We're going to lay that minus 172. All right. So like in order to break even at minus 172, you got to hit 63.24% of your games. Now with my modeling, I hit this game at about 71%. So that's why it is also another check mark. There's a green light, even though that number is a little bit high at minus 172, we're still going to go ahead and make that play here today. All right, here we go, everyone. Play number three. It is going to be the Tampa Bay Rays versus the LA Dodgers. We have Boz on the mound, 3.26. He's sitting at 3.48 this season. So staying pretty steady in the short term and the long run up against Gavin Stone. He's sitting at 4.39, 3.44 this season. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the under total in this game. Under nine, that's sitting at minus 122. The Rays are only hitting 208. They're only slugging 599. I think they got off to weird hot starts versus the Dodgers. I don't see that happening again today. If we look at the Rays overall, right, overall the last five or so, they're still actually 13.3% lower than their season average. So they're not really playing as well, uh, even though they've given the Dodgers a little bit of a tough time perhaps. So I don't see it happening here again today. Also, if you take a look at what the Dodgers have been doing with these starting pitchers, they've only been allowing them 2.67 in the first five innings. So I really don't see this one getting over the total here at all. I'm looking at excellent pitching versus subpar hitting, right? Anyone that's 13.3% lower is the flashy lights. Let's get under this total. Hey everyone, if you're also looking for additional content, you can find us at our sister channel. So powered by Tony's Picks is the OG Sports Network. 
So if you wouldn't mind, go ahead and get over here to the OG Sports Network. You can give us a follow and you can find all of my other free picks for today. So you can see there's 15 free picks for Sunday. You also can go ahead and see that Bo, he has some video picks for you here as well. He does his series so you can find even more consensus. You'll find other guys doing videos as well, like Solo and Ron and Mark and CJ. They're all getting it done. So you guys, hey, check us out over here. Give us a follow and you can find even more consensus. All right, you guys, hey, have a great day. We will catch you later. Bye-bye.